Hey there, this is John Henney. I am a voice teacher and the author of Beginning Singing. Uh, this is the Kindle version. The paperback version also came out uh, just this week. And uh, you can get that on Amazon.com. Uh, today, I want to look at uh, Floor Jensen and Hank Port doing Phantom of the Opera from Beste Zangers. And uh, I'm looking at this because last week, I did uh, my first reaction video for a band called Nightwish, and I was literally invaded by an army. I had no idea that uh, Nightwish had an army. I thought Kiss had an army, but Nightwish really has an army, and uh, a lot of friendly people, but a lot of requests for this. So um, I have not seen this, but I'm sure it's going to be fantastic because I was uh, thoroughly impressed with uh, Floor's singing. Uh, in the previous video, so let's uh, let's jump in and see what we got. That's cool, live band. Headbanger version. So what I love about this already is she's she's really nailing this style of quasi operatic singing. Um, it's not purely opera because Phantom of the Opera really is. It's it's like a pop opera. It's a pop opera musical. Uh, modern audiences, uh, musical theater audiences, a, a pure operatic voice is not what they want to hear from this. This is, this is not an aria. It's it's, it's kind of like a, a moody pop piece. And so she gets the the classical sound, that female classical head voice sound, but she still keeps a a core in her voice, a richness and a thickness. Um, that's more indicative of contemporary singing and belt. And she's writing uh, between those two genres really um, seamlessly. You don't really notice it, but, but so far, very impressed. Good. He's a bit more of a baritone than they usually cast fans of. Yeah, again, she she really does the genre well. Uh, I mean, she could she could do this role um, she, when she wants it to sound more classical. She'll she'll round those vowels down, and but what she's able to do, and you don't always hear classical singers do this. Sometimes they'll come down from their head voice, and they'll kind of clunk into their chest voice. Uh, Floor is able to very smoothly transition into the chest voice. You don't hear it suddenly uh, come in the lower register. And that's hard to do because she's moving from her, her vocal folds being more stretched and not having as much contact to when she comes down into chest voice, the vocal folds are, 
are suddenly fatter and they make more contact and there's also an acoustic shift in terms of how you, the resonators are interacting with the sound wave uh, which is a very long kind of voice teacher way of saying it's very easy to uh, kind of crack or, or slam back down into chest voice these these shifts and she makes them happen so imperceptibly that um, you don't hear it you uh, suddenly she's just in this nice rich chest voice that has blended so seamlessly with the heavier upper register it's a headbanger song look at them That's different. And you, and you can hear her. I know that the, the big vocal showcases part is coming. But when she says the word phantom because she wants that very heady effect, she'll pronounce it almost towards an ooh, phantom, to get that very heady sound. And, and people instinct, instinctively do this when they want, want to whoop and holler, woo, that, that hat, that's easier to go higher on than ah, that's going to have a, a beltier sound. But listen to the way she pronounces phantom. <laughs> And because he's on a lower note, he gives him more ass. I know you're gonna yell at me for stopping here but and I'm, I'm gonna take it back and then I'll listen to it straight through but I just want to point out what she's doing so beautifully well so she's she's got those vowels rounded um, and then as she starts going higher the vowel starts to open even though she's keeping it um, in her head voice she's tracking the resonance by opening her mouth a little more if she keeps it rounded as it keeps going higher the note's actually going to lose energy so she's going to slowly open that vowel and open that vowel to track the resonance this is really good singing um, this is somebody who's who really knows uh, vocal technique and and uh, people have told me she was a, a vocal coach she really knows what she's doing but I just want to, to point that out and show it that the vowel is going to start to progressively uh, open up as she goes on. It's going to go a little more to ah. Uh. See? And then she's going to need to open that. To go to that high E flat. Good for her. Yeah. Oh, that's just fantastic. But you see, she had to really open. She, what she did is she dropped her jaw and she pulled back the corners of her mouth. And what that's doing is it's actually making the, the, the vocal track, this tube, a little shorter. So she's going from having a flute to a piccolo. But if you if you do that wrong, if you don't do it enough, or if you overshoot it, it's very easy to screech on this note. I've heard so many singers just screech that note. They just go too wide, and she opens it just enough uh, that she just nails it. So, yeah, this is fantastic. I'm going to have to do 
I'm gonna have to do another uh, Nightwish video. I'm really digging her singing, so um, thank you for the suggestion. Hey, if you want to know more about me, please visit my website, johnhenney.com, and be sure to check out my podcast, The Intelligent Vocalist, where I talk more about uh, these voice science things. Talk soon. Bye-bye.